Hello, I'm going to read another Julia Donaldson story. This one is called The Troll. It's a bit of a shiny green title, isn't it? And there's the troll. It looks a little bit like Gru out of the Minion um, films, doesn't he? <laughs> He's got yellow teeth, just like the crocodile. I'm, I'm going to read it because it's also got some pirate things inside it and a big pirate ship. And we were looking at pirates last week, weren't we? So this is The Troll by Julia Donaldson and David Roberts as well. He's got a cookbook under his arm and a frying pan. I wonder what he's going to do. I hope he's not going to clobber somebody over the head with a frying pan. Even the spider's scared, going, ah! Very funny. Okay. There was once a troll who lived under a bridge. That's where trolls are supposed to live. Do you know another story that has a troll who lives under the bridge? Which story is it? The three pilly coats gruff, that's right. Meanwhile, far out at sea, there were some pirates who lived in a ship. That's where, pirate, that's where pirates are supposed to live. There he is. Those two pirates on their ship. Good ship. Even got pirate underpants, like our story last week, as a sail. Trolls are supposed to eat goats, but no goats ever came trip-trapping over this troll's little bridge. So he ate fish instead. But one morning he heard a faint noise on his bridge. Up he popped and he said what trolls are supposed to say, which is... You ready? Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Don't have a go with me. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, I'm not trip trapping, I'm scuttling, said a tiny black creature. And I'm a spider. Oh bother, I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have fur, said the spider. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. You'll make a nice change from fish. I don't think he's going to be very full after a tiny spider, is he? Oh, oh, my nose is tickling. Oh, please don't eat me, said the spider. Why don't you go further down the river to the next bridge? It's a much better bridge for goats. All right then, said the troll. So he packed up his frying pan and his cookery book and off he strode. So it has got goats in hopefully, like the three billy goats gruff. Pirates are supposed to dig for treasure and these pirates had a treasure map with a rhyme on it. You ready for the rhyme? We've done rhymes as well. Between the palm tree and the rocks, six foot deep lies a treasure box. I know you had fun last week making treasure maps as well. They sailed and they sailed until they reached an island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. Start digging. The pirates dug and they dug, but all that they found <laughs> was a grumpy mole. Can you see the grumpy mole? It must be the wrong island they said. All that digging made them very, very hungry. It was Ben Buckle's turn to do the cooking. He cooked fish pie. Oh, it's soggy, said Percy Patch. It's slimy, said Peg Polka Dot. There's Peg Polka Dot. When we find the gold, we can buy a decent cookery book, said Hank Chief. And they set sail again. So the fish pie is soggy. They're not happy with that. They need a new cookery book. And the mole's very angry that they disturbed him. The troll was sitting under his new middling sized bridge reading his cookery book. Suddenly he heard a sound above his head. Up he popped. Ready? Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He roared. I'm not trip trapping, I'm pattering, said a furry creature. And I'm a mouse. Oh, bother, I thought you were a goat, 
said the troll. No, goats have longer ears, said the mouse. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. I'm getting sick of fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the mouse. Why don't you go down to the next bridge? There are goats trip-trapping over that one all the time. Hmm, very well, said the troll. And he packed up up his things again and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates had discovered another island. They dug and they dug, but all that they found was a rusty old bucket with a crab inside it. I quite like crab, actually. It's the wrong island again, they said. Oh dear. That night, Percy Patch did the cooking. He cooked fish soup. Delicious. It's bony, said Ben Buckle. It's briny, said Peg Polkadot. If only we could find the gold, we could pay for a proper cook, said Hank Chief. Again, I love a bit of fish soup, so I don't know what they're complaining about. The troll was frying fish under his new bridge when he heard a sound above his head. Up he popped. You ready? Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He bellowed. It's quite a big bridge, isn't it? I'm not trip trapping, I'm lolloping, said a creature with long ears. And I'm a rabbit. Oh, bother, I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have hooves, said the rabbit. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. Anything's better than fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the rabbit. Why don't you walk down to the next bridge? There are herds of goats trip-trapping over that one. Are you sure, said the troll. Once again, he packed up and he strode off. That's quite a large, big bridge, isn't it? Like a big iron bridge or a steel bridge. Meanwhile... The pirates were digging on a new island. They dug and they dug, but all that they found was an old Wellington boot with a nest of centipedes inside it. We'll never find the right island, they said. That night, it was Peg Polkadot's turn to do the cooking. She cooked fish cakes. Again, very delicious. They're sticky, said Ben Buckle. They're sandy, said Percy Patch. Hank Chief said nothing. He was too busy being sick over the side of the ship. Oh dear. Ooh. I love a fish cake. The trolls' river grew wider and wider. Then it stopped being a river and it flowed into the sea. The troll found himself on a sandy beach. There isn't another bridge, he said. That rabbit was tricking me. And then he spotted some hoof prints in the sand. A goat at last, yes, he cried. He looked around, but he couldn't see any boats. Any goats, even. Never mind, it will probably come back tomorrow, he said. The troll followed the prince. They led him to a spot between a tall palm tree and two big rocks. I know, he thought. I'll dig a pit, then tomorrow the goat will fall into it and I can eat it. The troll dug and dug with his frying pan. Just when he thought the hole was deep enough, the pan hit something hard. It was a great big chest. Perfect, said the troll. I can hide in here and keep warm. Then when the goat falls into the hole, I'll open the lid and pop up. He lifted the lid and the chest was full of round gold things. These are no use to me, he said. And he threw them all into the sea. Then he climbed into the chest and lay down. Tomorrow I can have a goat for breakfast instead of fish. He thought as he drifted off to sleep. Look at him inside the chest. Look at him throwing all the gold coins into the sea. 
It was dark when the pirates arrived at the next island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. But someone's been digging here already, said Ben Buckle. Don't say they found the treasure before us, said Percy Patch. Now look, here it is, said Peg Polka Dot. The chest was heavy. <laughs> it must be full of gold, said Hank Chief. Quick, back to the ship before anyone spots us. It's not full of gold, is it? <laughs> the troll was woken up by a loud bang. <gasps> That's my breakfast falling into the hole, he thought. But why was the chest heaving and swaying? And why was the lid opening? Surely goats couldn't open lids. The lid opened wide. Staring down at the troll were four angry pirates. Where's the gold? shouted Hank Chief. I, 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 I threw it into the sea, said the troll. The plank, the plank, yelled Ben Buckle and Percy Patch. Make him walk the plank. Aww. Feeling a bit sorry for this troll. The, the next second the pirates were pushing him onto the plank. <gasps> Who's that trip trapping over my plank? jeered Hank Chief. I'm not trip trapping, I'm shuffling, said the troll in a very small voice. And I'm a troll. He reached the end of the plank, his knees were knocking. <gasps> Jump, yelled the pirates. But just then, Peg Polk Dot came running up. <gasps> Wait, she cried, I found something else inside the chest. In one hand, she held the troll's frying pan. In the other hand, she held his cookery book. Stop, said Hank Chief. He looked at the troll in a new way. Can you cook? he asked. Yes, said the troll, and yes, shouted the pirates. Then you can stay, said Hank Chief. Thank you, said the troll, and he shuffled back along the plank. When shall I start? Now, said Hank. The pirates showed the troll the ship's kitchen. The troll grinned. He turned to his favourite page in the cookery book. Shall I make us a nice goat stew? He asked. Goat? Goat? But pirates don't eat goat, said Hank Chief. We want what pirates are supposed to eat. And what's that? said the troll. Fish, said the pirate chief. Oh no. <gasps> that is the last thing that the troll wants to eat. He's got to cook fish recipes again. Oh my goodness. There you go. And that's a story, quite a long story, of the troll. Good story though. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have fun and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.